Oh, hi, Carrie Jackson. How are you? Geekshowpodcast.com welcomes you to the Basement Studios and our YouTube channel. Uh, if this is your first time, there's some adult language and adult situations headed your way. But hey, we talk about like Star Wars, Star Trek, Deadpool, Marvel Comics, DC Comics, all that cool stuff. So if you like that, stick around. So this, this is, is the thing that we I... used to make the funeral potatoes. Wait, I can't even get a fart joke out right now. <laughs> What'd you think, Jimmy? Didn't see it. You... Oh, I was about to say, I was like, I was like Jesus, oh, no. sounds like a problem. No, no, no. He'll eat leave first so he doesn't have to like deal with starvation. That's fine. Yeah. I can masturbate without my hands. That's true. Geekshowpodcast.com Oh, welcome back to the basement. <laughs> Round two. Yes. Fight. All right. Leg sweep, leg sweep, leg sweep, leg sweep, leg sweep. Stop blocking, you're ruining it. I hate that guy. And there is a different move. And there is this week's ringtone if you'd like to. Leg sweep, leg sweep, leg sweep, leg sweep, leg sweep, leg sweep, leg sweep. Download that and. I don't know the buttons yet. <laughs> leg sweep, leg sweep. Shut up. Leg sweep, leg sweep. <laughs> How do This is the worst fucking Marvel versus Capcom <laughs> tournament fight I've ever seen in my life. It's just a bunch of leg sweeps. Fine. Leg did sweep, I, leg sweep. Did I ever tell you the time when I won a Tekken 2 tournament? Uh, uh, yes. At, at a media play. And okay. That's Dayton. It's this been, fucking, a, been a while. Uh, been a yeah. while. And the way they determined it wasn't how far you got into the game. It's how long you lasted. If you remember, Tekken would time you. So all these guys are beating the shit out of people, going really fast like that, you know, and they get like, you know, like four minutes, 35 seconds, like whatever the fuck like that. I'm sitting there looking at it, I go, well, this is stupid. So I get, I'm, I'm the last guy to play, and I just hopped around. <laughs> uh, you <laughs> so guys like, did this wrong. <laughs> you guys are all stupid. <laughs> so I just like, just hopped around and just held block, and then I was like, I lasted seven minutes. Awesome. Win. And I got like a hundred dollar like, wow. gift. Hey, this guy's nice. ruining they the tournament. Oh, they were pissed. Everybody else was like, oh, that's bullshit. Mr. Leg Sweep. Mr. Leg Sweep. You know what's bullshit? You. Oh. Yeah, that's true. I remember Media Play. Remember Media Play? Yeah. Weren't they I owned, too. It was the same co company as Suncoast. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Suncoast. I used to work for Suncoast. I remember that. The yep. Highlander story. <laughs> yep. I told that story to so many people how fucked up Mormons are. Yeah. What? Sorry. What? Well, so Ouch. when I worked at that. Uh, it's true. Media <laughs> Movie wise, <laughs> it's valley, very true. Well, so when I worked Mall? at that media play, um, it was after the sorority girl that I lived with uh, oh, yeah, yeah. moved away. Yeah. I had to figure was a, something out. It was a shared universe you and I have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they call. I, I've heard that's uh, actually called Eskimo Brothers. You guys are Eskimo <laughs> Brothers. Yeah, you guys. Rub, oh, wow. You guys. You guys rub noses. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. something like that. We don't. We don't talk about it much. So you're saying uh, you've, you've parked your cars in the same garage? Uh, no. Not at the same time. <laughs> Not at the same. Uh, <laughs> and move over. You're over the line. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is a two car garage. No, I used to work at. Hey, this feels good and all, but maybe uh, it's hey. like one of those Japanese garages. Like one parks on top and yeah. it lifts up. Yeah. So uh, when she left town, she was like, I'm really sorry I've ruined your whole life. Uh, here's some anti-anxiety medication. I was like, well, I fucking guess. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? yeah. And uh, so uh, every day before I'd go to work, I would smoke a bunch of pot and take that anti-anxiety medication. I was just like. Holy cow. You must have been like liquid by the time. No, I was just was like, like fucking nothing bothered me. He was yeah. a, he Somebody could have shot me and I'd be like, fuck, I love this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. But no, I'd sit there and sell movies. And this one time, this lady comes in and she's like. This is yeah yeah she's holding up the Highlander. This movie the Highlander it says it's uh, uh you know is there uh, any sex in this because yep. the boys want it and I'm like yeah. yeah there is I'm like there is one sex scene between two people who love each other <laughs> very very much <laughs> uh, but also about thirty five people get their heads cut off. Well, that's okay. Well, wait, that's all right, but the sex, we'll just yeah. put this Yeah, <laughs> that's, always, that's always confusing. As, as what I said earlier, though. But I was it, like, well, whatever, and then I went and ate all the Swedish fish. It, it, I think to an extreme with, with Utah and Mormons, but it's also an, actually a fucking American thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not it just is. Mormons. But it's, no. it's more to an extreme here It's in definitely Utah. more to an what, extreme. I think yeah. what Tony's trying to say is not all Mormons. Well, it's I've, no. I've well, watched some. Some crazy of us are okay. Tony. It's really the American culture, <laughs> but it, it is. is because it if is. you if you go to European countries, it's the sex is fine. Yeah. The violence. They got well, my mom. Watch, my mom had this rule of thumb with with movies because uh, I'm gonna you know put my age out there right now. 
VHS was not around when I was little. VHS was around when I was a teenager. How my mom's old are you? 72. Wow. My mom's... <laughs> you my look mom's, great! My I'm mom's, as old as Lee. <laughs> my mom's rule of thumb was, I would much rather have my kids watch something that I hope they experience in their lives. See some boobies. So I hope you guys have great sex. So go ahead and watch movies yeah. with some sex in them because I hope that happens in your life you know. as opposed to... Now what kind of camp, movies are you watching? As though? opposed to Camp Crystal Lake. I'll yeah. Exactly. I'm I'll, not gonna, now, I won't argue that it. Today, if you I, let your kids do that today, they all be spitting on each other and watch. choking each other. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> There's a great documentary. I think I've said it on the show before, but like it's called uh, This Film Is Not Yet Rated. Yeah. yeah. And it's all about the MPAA and how fucking full that of is shit a it is. It's a great documentary. But like it just blows my mind. They're like if I'm if, gonna drink a if shot. If boobs that. or a vagina is shown, they're like, oh that's well boobs is PG thirteen. If a vagina is shown it's I think it's uh R. But the second a dick comes out, well that's Automatic. That's in C seventeen. That's well, X. That's out of here. And, and Carrie's right. screaming for the fucking and hills. For, and for that, I thank them. <laughs> There's a cardboard cutout, like like you know, of Carrie's silhouette, like out of the wall, like in fucking yeah. Bugs Bunny. But like, <laughs> dude, you can show people's heads blowing off, and, yep. and they're like, yeah, that's good. Like, well, it's, it, it, it's the truth. I mean, and and I, I've said this to the lieutenant governor to his face. I said, you know, your kids are going to have sex most of their lives. Shouldn't we have comprehensive sex education oh, in school? Uh -huh. yeah, Not agreed. gun classes. We, you know? We've had we've had people <laughs> uh, in the education system wonder why we opt our kids out of the mandatory sex ed class that rolls by every year, and we're like, because there's more to sex ed than abstinence. They think we're religious fundamentalists. Yeah, yeah. Because we're like, no, we're not putting our kids in your sex ed class. And I'm like, why? Because we already taught them what they need to know, and you're not going to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what we've taught them is sex is a wonderful thing, but it can go south real quick if you're not careful. So be fucking careful because the abstinence thing, you start mm. learning things like, oh, you learn about marinating because that's abstinence, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you want is that part of the school, school curriculum so. now? <laughs> no, no. But what happens is if you don't teach your kids about the real shit, yeah. they're going to hear some other shit that isn't real. Now and then you just stick it in and don't and move. And you don't it. move. That doesn't count. God can't detect it. Right. Yeah. It's like a T-Rex. It's like a T-Rex. Like yeah. God Don't. only senses motion. And if Jeff Goldblum is in the room, yeah. you'll be just fine. <laughs> All right. mm, uh, life finds a way, right, Shannon? Yes. Mm, huh? yes. And sometimes and sometimes two fellas can park their car in the same garage. <laughs> me, just me. don't move it. At don't the move, same move time? <laughs> yeah. And if you move it too much, you might find you enjoy the feeling of that other gentleman. Yes. <laughs> Does it have like that, that, those new things that the Lexus has like, like where it parks gosh. itself, like parallel parking? Like just kind of maybe. Just, yeah, yep. Maybe? All right, cool. Yep. All right. Well, okay. Should we uh, introduce ourselves? Let's introduce <laughs> after these messages. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jay just asked how's things. Oh, All right, actually, Jay. let's start with Jay. He is um, still a member of this panel. Is he? Uh, yes, and uh, he uh, he is he's in the South. Ever since he got that trucker job, I have to say, it. I'm not sure what we can say. I have what? He's not in prison. That's no. what I want to say. He's every not. time. Would you, like, would you people can we stop? Just can we just say he went uh, out of state for work? That's what I did no, say. No, How hard is that? Because that's what, here's, what it is. Here's yeah. proof that Jay is not in prison. But every Would time he be on Facebook no. in prison? No. Exactly. I don't know. I've never been to prison. Would he be, would he be Snapchatting every goddamn fish taco but, he eats? But no I do watch Orange is the New Black. They get away with a lot of shit. But he, he just <laughs> texted me, and he, and he just says he spread the Geek Show gospel out where he is. Yeah. Well, uh, well, you're a truck he, driver Did he in go the to South? Mississippi Comic Con? Uh, I don't know if he did, but he said uh, <laughs> he said uh, could you send some flyers out here? Uh, he Ernie Hudson. He's at a place there. where there are people from everywhere, uh, but uh, the, these folks uh, would like to know about the show. So oh, so uh, James, we could do, yeah. do that. Okay, all right. Uh, but he he says hello, and and last uh, two weeks ago we read a letter from him, and yeah, he's well, he's we, doing fine. We were talking about it on the way, on the Shannon and I took an Uber up here, and I was like, I I hate how he's like, well, I have to go away for a little while. And I can't say where I'm going. Because it did sound like a dad telling his daughter she, he was going to prison. Yeah, it did. <laughs> but I can assure you he's not in prison. Not in prison. Very right. much. He's, he's working. Yeah. He's, he's at a job. He's being paid to be there. Yes. And he's not allowed to tell you what it is. He's on a, yeah. like, a long junket. How about that? There you go. <laughs> so, you know, I, I had to explain this to somebody at Frisch who kept asking me questions about where Jay was. A million questions. It started with, is he in prison? <laughs> and after the third or fourth question, I was like, you do know what Jay's... Involved in, right? Yeah. And he's like, uh, you know, he's got a, he's got a job doing stuff with computers. And I was like, and you do know he's in the reserves, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
So if Jay leaves for six months and he's involved in the military, what do you think he can tell you about it? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, maybe he could tell us where he's at. No. 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 So he's in prison, right? <laughs> yeah. No, we, <laughs> so, we can, in, yeah. so you're saying it's he's just in a like in a figurative prison, man. <laughs> <laughs> so he's in a he's in a military prison somewhere where he gets really good internet access. Yeah. <laughs> so. So and there's only half as much raping. But but he he sends his his love and that that Tony's reading the letter that he's yeah, he sent looking us at and, right now. And uh, so yeah, so Jay Whitaker, everyone. Yeah. Jay Woo! Whitaker. Still, yeah. we still keep his chair right there. So he's enjoying birds. Yes. I'm jealous of his regimen of study, training, lifting weights, and eating fish tacos. I'll it tell you that. Sounds like much. prison. I just <laughs> prison has fish tacos. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I should go to prison. <laughs> that's what they call the involuntary sex. Well, let's. <laughs> You getting any ready for some fish tacos? Today? Today? No, 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 no! I'm still filled up from yesterday. <laughs> the new, the new guys just say, mm, "Salmon or halibut?" <laughs> I don't like the aioli sauce. <laughs> I hope it's not deep fried. Salmon or blackfish? Oh <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Whoa! Let's start over here. Man, with oh our, man, I got cabbage in my teeth again. With our producer and designated <laughs> driver of the program, Two Tall Trill Tony. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> there you go. Follow that one up. Uh, check me out on Twitter at Quad T Tony, or on my other podcast, The Gadget Spot, with Excitable James and a couple mm-hmm. other guys. Yeah, woo! It's a myth. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, thank you, Tony. I got Skittles in my mouth. Uh, the the new <laughs> sweet and sours. Uh huh. And and what's the verdict, uh, Lex? You like the this? I like the sweet. She prefers the sweets, not the, the sours. sweet ones. Are better in this one. The right. sour ones are all right, though. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, oh, look, everyone! It's Shannon Barnson. Hey. Mr. Hey, Mr. B. I put sunglasses on my microphone. It's like, it's like a talking face. into a cute little friend. <laughs> <laughs> my friend's religious. <laughs> hey, buddy. I Man, put, your microphone's <laughs> religious and cool. I put my glasses on a microphone. It's like I can't see who I'm talking to. <laughs> so it's, uh, I'm right in the middle of uh, what day is it, season? <laughs> oh. Uh, so the Sev so renovation. So the yeah. Sev is closed. I have to look at my phone to go, what fucking day is <laughs> they're, it? They're cleaning the Slurpee machine. Yeah. My phone's drunk. <laughs> uh, That's but the one thing I, I could, because I have to know what day is Wednesday. Because that. Because on Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> so you need to remind Shannon that Wednesday pub quiz is co- probably maybe Tuesday, right? So you'll start writing the pub quiz. Oh, that's Wednesday Or sometimes night. I write it Wednesday like right when I get home from Denver. No. No, you wouldn't do no, that. Um, no. Wednesday nights, Lucky 13. They're going to grind some weird animal up for you to eat. Last oh. week it was a platypus. Oh. Lies. No. It was that's... a platypus burger. No. Did you try really? it? Really? Yeah. It was no, a that's endangered. I, of course the fuck is that a platypus <sighs> I have no idea what they I'd do over tr- there. I'd try that. Yeah. I would too. I'm so sad now. It was Tom and, and, and it, <laughs> platypus is one of my favorite animals. I thought actually. they smelled bad on the outside. If you were like a, uh, a Dalmatian burger, I'd be like, mm, mm. Lucky 13. Uh, Get there about eight, I would say at the latest. Uh, we're outside on the patio. They got some sweet Yay. ass misters out there right now, and, and they have misses. a bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lee, you're so clever. I wasn't talking like Mike Tyson. <laughs> misters, um, sweet ass misters, the sweet ass misters outside, and, and they just opened a bar. You motherfucker, the crazy. Yeah, now, they opened a bar on the outside too, <laughs> so it's pretty good. I hope you're watching Mike Tyson Mysteries, by the way. I watched it the other night. Because it's it's the funniest show. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, say that's me. So you you took care of their demon problem, did you, Mike? Yeah, I took care of the demon problem within their health. (laughs) (laughs) So so you're pretty sure it was a demon, was it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a demon. I'm I'm, I'm 70% sure it was a demon. So you thought burning their house down was a good answer, huh? Yeah, I think that was the only way to take care of it. <laughs> uh, why have I not been watching this? You need to be watching no, I, I, this. I saw him having a conversation with um, Norm MacDonald. Norm MacDonald is as, great as, on as that p- show. As Pigeon. As Pigeon. Yeah, you don't, even, you don't even know my real name, do you? Of course I do. It's Pigeon. It's Pigeon. Just look at you. You look like a pigeon. <laughs> it's Richard. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Richard. Well, that doesn't make any sense because you don't look like a Richard. You look like a pigeon. <laughs> so fucking funny. It's the great, greatest show. He has, he has his daughter, Young He. <laughs> Young He? <laughs> Young He is her name. And uh, She's adopted. She's Vietnamese, right? Yes. And you talk to him. They're talking Chinese. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not Chinese, I'm Dad. I'm not Chinese, Dad. I'm Vietnamese. That's just another kind of Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Anyway, sorry. 
Hilarity. We George Kate, everyone. Hilarity. I don't have any adopted children. That you, yeah, know, you of. know of, yeah. Well, you know, the nice thing about <laughs> adopted children is you're usually pretty sure that they're there, as opposed to legitimate children who can be anywhere. <laughs> Did I sign for you? They, they actually, just show. Actually, now, now James is feeling bad because you're. I, I am old enough to be James's really cool dad. And you might I be. Know about I cool. could be. Talk to him during the break. You might be. I would be proud to be his dad. <laughs> <laughs> I would be super proud to be his dad. I, See, you got one, James. James? James, I am now your father. This is cool. There Someone's proud of Somebody's you. Somebody's finally proud of you, James. Good job. <laughs> I, I've been proud of him since the day I met him. See, That's what James right. should have done is, no, it can't I, be. I've been proud That's of, impossible. I've been proud of him since the day I knocked up his mom. Hey, oh. oh. <laughs> Again. No, you were proud of yourself that day. Oh, just because it worked. <laughs> Again, you did it, coach. Again, yeah. speak, yeah. speak to him during the break. It's possible. Oh, slapping uh, your own I, ass. I, I, Good I, I, game. Good well, game. <laughs> um, I just slapped my own ass to get the momentum. I was drunk. Right. Was well, that before so, or after? Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway. <laughs> um, so wait, slapping your ass while you're having sex helps you get Yeah, jump into that restaurant yeah, well, plug. You know, because... Hey, don't knock <laughs> it. Like a, don't knock it until you try it, okay? Yeah, it's a it's a thing you do when you're wearing chaps. That's right. What do you guys got? Hips like those uh, cars that you roll on the thing until it goes... <laughs> rah, 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 drives yes. away? Yes, just try and it. There's you're a like, problem. Rah, just try rah, it. Rah, 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 for, rah, guy, rah, friction for guys... Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> for guys into some kinky shit, I'm surprised you haven't smacked your own ass. Yeah. Give it a try with a kinky shit. <laughs> I shared a room with you for four days. Did you ever call yourself by a different name? Uh, just Tiny tiny Lister. <laughs> Hold me close to Tiny, tiny Lister. Lister. Yeah, it's strange. Uh, so, free yes. Scenery, 145 <laughs> South. 145 East, 1300 South, no, Suite 201. Kind of go on there. Yeah, no, not really. I mean, they could, but we'll charge extra. You do so. slap your own ass as you cook. Yeah. I really can't because I have to glove up every time. Both times anyway. doesn't matter. No, I I have to glove up when I'm cooking, and oh. I don't want to have to change the gloves every time I smack my own ass. Uh, wait, you have a spe- you have to glove up your hand to sh- <laughs> to make food. Like yes, you have to wash your hands, put gloves on your hands, make the you have food. A special ass slapping glove. I'm saying that if I were to s- if I were to be making someone's food and then slapping my ass, I'd have to change the gloves mid ass slap to continue making the food. See, it's just not something you do at the so same time. What you're saying is Keep invest talking. in Daddy invest likes what in you're glove companies. I'm saying gloves. Glove companies need to make uh, ass slapping gloves that uh, you can change really quickly. Okay, you might yeah. want to okay. hire an ass slapper. I'm thinking that's a good idea. You ever thought about that? Uh, Somebody just get a good <clears throat> push going. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably build you a machine that slaps your ass uh, for I you. I could show you. A it world. seems like you're slapping your ass. You're only yeah. using one hand. Did you say slapping or slapping? Slapping. slapping. <laughs> Slapper to slap. German. Little, little like, it seems like you're. It would be a little off, like one. Yeah. You're going yeah. like, Nobody can see that right yeah. now, Shannon. All right, this is this is uh, <laughs> terrible so, audio. So you're this is this is where I I have to <laughs> say I think we've gone far. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought he was going to some sort of weird paddle boat routine that I couldn't understand. I, I would have so. stopped it sooner, but I was texting Jay. So okay. yeah, <laughs> well, that all works. So if you want to come watch me smack my own ass while I'm making your food, that's at uh, Fresh. Also, Geek Show Fit. Uh, there is a lot of ass slapping on there because you got to work those glutes. Good games and, and back slapping uh, and back slapping. Oh, that and, and thumbs and, up and high fiving. Yes, and yay Ewing because that's what it's all about. And by Ewing, I don't mean Jr. And what about Patrick? That it's Patrick probably, Ewing is a possibility. Okay. Patrick, I think he's yeah. on the page. So uh, check that out. And of course, uh, shirts. We got a million shirts. Geek Show shirts. Yes. They're fantastic. They're wonderful. They're lovely, and they come in ladies' sizes because, ladies, you want to represent. A show with nothing but men on it. And we <laughs> we love it when you do. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, speaking specifically, now there's our regular shirt that we have, our classic. Your favorite downloadable sausage party. Yes. Um, <laughs> there is the new, and, and I'd like Lex to come in and, and show it off here, the new uh, summer hoodie. It is a uh, it is a unisex. Just come on over. It's not weird. It's not weird. It's okay. up, 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 up. <laughs> where do you, where do you, up, up, up. Ask your director where to Thanks. go. That's good. Uh, it See? is uh, the it's new. Not weird. It is the new Geek Show Come summer hoodie. It is a poly cotton blend, See? which means that it's, uh, it Show gives you gives you you know the perfect fit. Uh-huh. It stretches a bit. It's it's a light material, so it's it's not too here. Not have some skittles. No. Not too <laughs> confining. No. And, we pair uh, our models in skittles. <laughs> so there it is. It's the summer hoodie, long sleeve. It's uh, very nice. Good job, Lex. And Woo! it's uh, thank you, Lex. And uh, and now coming to the uh, floor is James. He doesn't get any Skittles. No <laughs> Skittles for you! Uh, James is modeling the new uh, Geek Show Dare shirt. Dare to keep your kids off Geek Show. Yeah. Uh, the, it's it's a very limited edition shirt, that one. Don't be dumb, son. Just shake his hand. And we have girl sizes in that one. 
<laughs> Very good, James. You, James, you get a skittle. Uh, so, so get nope. that no, green. I fell on the ground. Do it. And if you're, <laughs> if you're uh, just listening to this instead of watching us on YouTube, you're, uh, you, you can just go to geekshowpodcast.com, click on the merch button, and you'll see them all. Uh, coming soon, we got uh, the hats are on the way. <laughs> Uh, shot glasses are returning because you loved them. And ping pong paddles. And uh, flasks are on the way. Yeah. And, and depending on how the Dare shirts sell, we might be doing um, a monthly or every other month. Merit badges. Those are coming. Merit badges. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, every other month, a uh, specially one-off shirt. So uh, yes. if, if Can if we want. order different colors, or do they only come in one color? I think that one is just in that color, right? The, the yeah. Dare shirt is, yeah. Yeah, Tweet let him, him request. Let him know what you want, and yeah. and if we get enough people saying this one thing would be good, then we'll go that direction. If you want to tweet at him, it's at JDD Jensen. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's uh, at at the merch button on Geek Show Podcast. That's some exciting Dot com. Stuff. Yes. All right. Uh, hi, Jimmy. Hi. How are you? It's good to be here. Holy I, I, I notice like, I I like, Jay is texting you as he's well. He's texting me too. Yeah. He says, "I know where you be," which is kind of creepy. <laughs> but you like it that way. I don't know. Well, last time I got a text like that from Jay, he was already in the house. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know how he knows where I am when he's in prison, but that's just weird. That's we, true. Right? We trace the text. It's coming from inside the house. Ah! Uh, watch me on KSL. Big movie mouth off. Uh, read me in Slug. Listen to me on the Arrow and Geek Show and Mediocre Show. I think that's it. I think that's it. This week. No interviews this week. More are coming. Did you say YouTube's? YouTube's, yeah, big movie math up or on YouTube. Oh well, yeah, you can watch it on YouTube yeah. all you want. Also on your uh, your uh, Comcasts, Comcast on demand. Yeah, it's on uh, twice a day, and uh, big movie is on twice a day on Comcast channel. Um, uh, God, I want to say it's one and nine. I forget. It used to be four times a day, and they were like, "That's a little much." And I go, "Yeah, you think so?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like watching me that much. <laughs> so my my wife my wife was on as a guest reviewer. She was she for, was really good for too. Finding Dory. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised we actually got words out of her. Why? Because she loved that movie so fucking much, and she <laughs> lost her mind, and all she did was scream about otters for like two hours afterwards. What, what's funny about Big Movie is that like, now that it's you know uh, a time slotted show, like you, I have to hit twenty two thirty. That's what oh, they. Oh really? Yeah, I've got to hit oh, it on the fucking dot. That's new. Yeah, okay. no, it's been like well, I mean, maybe new information for you guys. But yeah, like, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say I've, you, you've just let me go and go. On, <laughs> so on I have show. to hit twenty two thirty on the dot. So like I have a timer. Uh, if you if if. Little secret of the set is Ooh, if you watch yeah. the show, there's a picture of me and Jeff uh, looking at a white wall, and all. it's one of my favorite pictures of me and him. Uh, behind that frame is a little timer that I, and every once in a while, you can catch me like looking down at it to make sure that we're not going crazy over. Nice. I, I can always go over because I would rather have more <clears throat> content than less right. because I can shave off shit. You know, right. that, there's been times where I'm like, oh, fuck, man, I. We're, we're a minute and a half shy. <laughs> Fuck. I was like, yeah. let's play that Captain America trailer again. You know, oh. like, so uh, that only happened once. But, um, but yeah, no, that, that's that's what happens. And uh, it was funny because Rachel was really good on the show, and and uh, we went about with other things that Counts and I did. The whole show was about a minute and forty over. And I was like, you know what? I'm not shaving anything off Rachel's segment like that. I was like, I can shave off what he and Counts did like that because I was like, she was really good. She's you know never on the show. And so we kept everything that yeah. Rachel did. So she it was, was fun. She was, uh, and th- this is kind of hard because being her husband, it was really hard being her boss at a radio station. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but she hit her brakes like she could, you know, like, uh, we need you to do two ad sponsors, weather, and, you know, back sell the song you just came out of and do it in 38 seconds. Yeah. She can nail it. So <laughs> she's just, and she was, I mean, she was great. She was fantastic. Awesome. And, and so, uh, yeah. She, she, she had a blast. She had a. Uh, she was really excited about the movie. I'll say that. Yeah, and she should have been because it's a great movie. She she loves oceans. <laughs> so you know how Jay is about mountains and uh, and, and, and birds. 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 That's Rachel with oceans Ocean. and otters. I was going to say otters. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I can dig that. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, check us out. Uh, the Facebook page is still going. We give away passes all the time. All right. So there we are. Cool. Boom. We have a host though. Oh hi. Who is it? Um. Oh, it's, oh, gosh. Where it's it's uh. It's Carrie um, Jackson. It's me. Hi. Mary Maxson. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gary Jackson. Uh, Monday through Friday, 6 to 10, x96.com. We have a TV feature there where you can watch us do the show live. I did it from a hotel. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah, with, uh, what? with a what? Work? With a who? With, with cameras. And <laughs> stuff. Does it work? Yeah, it what? works fine. On, on what's it on? 
Yeah, on, on the web, on x96.com. Why? I know, crazy, right? Multiple oh, cameras? Like, we have three. Really? Yes. It got a little weird as I was pretty when you go to work now. Yeah, you, well, that was part of the deal. You Camera to, ready. That, that certainly hasn't stopped Bill, but I try. <laughs> oh, hey, now. I try. hey He looks um, the same no matter what he does, that's though. That's true. So. Uh, but no, you seriously, get, though. But you get to see the wonderful wonderfulness that is Gina Barberi. <laughs> I yeah. love her. She is a dream. <laughs> yes. But you know, she coming in, back here? She's gonna, she wants to join us, yes. In Bill's defense... There's only so many things you can wear to go to Mount Doom. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the show, but it got weird because I was like this. Do the show. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I made the mistake uh, last week. I showed up at what I thought was this podcast. Turns out it was the Meek Show podcast with Harry Saxon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whole other program. They hardly even talk. They barely do. Right? Yeah. They just sit there. Weird. <laughs> can you open this bottle? Because I can't open this bottle. <laughs> okay. No, you go first. <laughs> you didn't talk about that, that time sad. I made eye contact with the lady? No, you, mm. you, 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 you... I would tell that, but you go tell your story. <laughs> Don't you think flasics are much easier to open than um, Heinz pickles? <laughs> <laughs> Vlasics? <laughs> Vlasics are too salty. <laughs> I don't uh, like them. They're, they're too they too much flavor. Uh, <laughs> Nothing like a good dill pickle. I don't like the sweet or the sour. I just I, like, I just think the pickles are too heavy. I, I like to <laughs> take a, a sliced a sliced dill pickle and I like to put it between fifteen napkins and put a book on it for four hours and get all the vinegar out. I d- I just eat my rice plain. <laughs> I just like my pickles like in chip chill, form. Yeah, chips because they're lighter. Famous Dave's. I don't lighter, like just eat them. I I like unsalted. Sometimes if I want to go... Those are cucumbers. If I want to go really crazy... <laughs> you have to leave the show now. No, you, you, you go first. Yeah, if, you, yeah, if I want to yeah. go really crazy, I'll just dehydrate so about a pound of kale. How, how, how it takes about 12 hours. How do you guys feel about relish? Um, it's made of pickles. I think it's, it's pickles. too much flavor. I think it's but dicey. Get it? Uh, <laughs> <too much flavor. laughs> right. No, I'm going to laugh too hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do a podcast just about pickles now. <laughs> pickle, the pickle podcast. Pickle pod. The pickle podcast. Hi, welcome to Peter's Pick to Pickle Podcast. <laughs> you almost did it. <laughs> I almost did it. You I'm almost your host, did it. I'm your host, Peter Pick Piper. Pick a pickle <laughs> podcast? Here with my co host, Peter Parker. <laughs> Peter Parker. <laughs> Peter Parker on the Pickle Podcast. <laughs> All right. Next up on the world. <laughs> T- today we're addressing the <laughs> subject. <laughs> It is very is dividing the pickle community, chilled or unchilled. It's chilled, uh, you chilled. Oh, yeah. crazy son of a bitch! Uh, depe- <laughs> well, we're not heathens. It depends chilled on, depends on whether you're doing a sandwich or a relish tray. I understand the Meek Show prefers not chilled. <laughs> you know what? That, that, oh, so but they, there shall be no other podcast before the pickled podcast. Yeah. <laughs> they like the wedges because they say once again pickles are too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Meek the Meek Show is usually concerned about extremities and temperature. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like hey, guess what? Huh? After these messages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got broken news Second next. show. Second show. Broken pickle, pickle, news. Pickle, 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 broken pickle. news next, and then we'll be back. After these, these messages, messages, we'll be right back. Ah, that hurt my ears, you guys. Pickle, 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 pickle. <laughs> and we're back. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Oh, I'm a seagull. <laughs> <laughs> what? Huh? What was that? <laughs> well, that's what seagulls make. The no, noise. I'm, I'm serious. They have a car wash. Yeah. <laughs> on Saturday. It's on Seagull car wash. There you go. Remember we used to go down there? I kind of miss that. Uh, to the strip club? Yeah. It was, it's been a while. But remember like when we were doing the interviews and we, stuff? We, in did, the we did a show down there, yeah. No, the so best time I ever had. I remember I missed the first one because I was at E3 and I came back. And we it was you, me, and Carrie. <laughs> and uh, uh, Shannon laid a, I was, I, the, Actually, the picture just popped up on my time hop. Oh, yeah, it, when I laid down on the... What on I the, found out later was called the porn couch. Yeah, uh, uh, laid down this couch. Uh, like, all snuggling at the calendar. And the girl, the girl and the girls who worked there goes... Yeah, I wouldn't lay on that couch yeah, at all. Yeah, sick. <laughs> they were just getting mad at that stripper because like, she claimed she didn't know what Star Wars was. <laughs> oh, that's right. No, seriously, were. since I live in the Central Ninth neighborhood now, if you guys are ever there and you need a place to hang out and wait for your lift, you just you just walk down to my place. Hey, they have a great steak. Di- I wouldn't. Never yeah, mind. that's uh, <laughs> that's lost on me. I won't go to a strip club and I won't eat a steak. So. Those are two things that but, they have. How do you even get out of bed in the morning, <laughs> sir? What's your motivation? No, at least <laughs> I have sir. steak. I get up and I have a nice kale patty. They have a lovely like five dollar steak dinner. And then right? a girl comes out in a flower you dress. A, you get a very nice. <laughs> <laughs> you get you get some good. You get some uh, veggies. I'm sure those are quality meats uh, that they're serving they're, too. Uh, five dollars. Uh, they always cost fifty dollars though. Somehow, <laughs> somehow steaks are f- five dollars. 
But by the they're time, fifty steaks. Yeah, by the time uh-huh. you leave, it's uh-huh. me, me and Jeffy used to call them titty steaks. Titty steaks. Like, yeah, that just that it, just sounds like some sort of horrible movie. I don't want to see. I think the last time I ever Jeffy ate, texted me, "Want to go uh, get titty steaks today?" Yeah, that yeah, uh, that sounds like Motel Hell. The last time I ever had a, a titty steak was when you and I and I think Logan and a few other friends went out and uh, I think Vice was there too, and uh, we went to uh, uh, we. People go and shop on the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, Black well, Friday. Well, this was called Blackout Friday. <laughs> right, that's right. <laughs> and we went and just got fucking shit hammered. You know where the worst place in the world to work other than direct retail is on Black Friday? I don't know. Any credit card. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't Any, want to do well, that. A credit card place or something? Oh, Any really? Any credit card company. Yeah. Because everything that because what people do on Black Friday is they spend more money than they have in their accounts. Sure, and then they call and scream at the people who work at the credit card company. That's because, called being American. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> so I, I seriously, when, the entire time I worked for a credit card company, I only spent probably a fifth of that time working for the credit card. The rest of the time, I worked for their bank division. But yeah. that first year, I remember Black Friday. I think two hours into the shift, I was repeatedly hitting my head against the wall, just talking to this lady who was. I'll never re- don't have any fucking money. Yeah, you, <laughs> I'll never remember Blackout Thursday. You love never. your family. You love your family so much. You borrowed money at sixteen percent interest to buy them shit they won't care about in a week. Nope. That's you know why, no. that's why I stick to five dollars steak dinners. Another place you spend too much money. Comic Con. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there we go. I went to Comic Con. Fuck it. You nailed it, bud. Ba-boom. You're so good at your fucking job. <laughs> and I'll be I'll be the first to say, yeah, there's a lot of money at Comic Cons. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. If um, uh, if this were a volleyball game, I'd be that dazed stoner who couldn't believe the setup you just spiked into my side <laughs> of the day. No, I think that's my job. <laughs> um here's uh it's more of those uh exclusives for San Diego. I'm done. What but, are those? But I brought this one up because I know Lee will remember Uh oh. At least one of these. I know yep. Shannon and I know the one of them. Um, Micronauts. And, oh, my. And Visionaries. Oh, my. Yeah. Well, Visionaries were 80s. Micronauts were 70s. Yeah. Okay. And that was Takara Corporation doing vehicles. They did the Transformers as vehicles, and the Micronauts were the guys that were supposed to drive mm-hmm. them. Uh, so this is, uh, this is to get you excited about the upcoming uh, Micronauts. Hasbro shared universe. G.I. Joe Hasbro thing, yeah. The toy manufacturer. <laughs> <laughs> our, fil- our film critic has spoken. Uh, oh, I sneezed. I'm sorry. The toy manufacturer will be resurrecting the original Micronauts toy line exclusive for oh my. for San Diego. Microman. The Micronauts Classic Collection Limited Edition Collector uh, Collection featuring so Croyer, featuring recreations of of uh, the Mego toy line seventy six to nineteen eighty. Yeah. Uh, three characters: Galactic Warrior, Time Traveler, Ferroid. And Orbital Defender. Orbital Defender had the fucking wing pack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he had a rubber dart on his back that yes. he could fire. <laughs> the Micronauts were awesome because they were modular. You could take them apart. Yeah. Like, if you had Baron Karza, you could take Baron Karza's torso off and put it on the horse body. And now, all of a sudden, Baron Karza is a yeah. centaur. <laughs> uh, all multiple cho- uh, points of articulation, interchangeable parts, uh, with the packaging that, that's uh, it's retro-looking, but it's new artwork. Yeah, and it'll be um, forty nine ninety five. And uh, they're also doing <laughs> you a wish. they're doing a visionaries, but not an original visionaries. They're doing like the the pop vinyl figure yeah. kind of yeah. not, not the mighty mugs is what it looks yeah. more like. Visionaries to me. visionaries unfortunately were really clunky in yeah. my opinion. Aesthetically. They weren't good. No. They weren't good. No, so that's that's kinda of one of those things when Hasbro said they were gonna book visionaries in their shared universe, I was kinda of wondering why. Um, yeah. you you might be able to get these right now at Hasbrotoyshop.com uh, after the show. And at Fan Expo Canada, which is in September, I, so I have I have a hard, a really terrible thing now because uh, I know some people say that they've dismissed Funko Pops as the Beanie Babies of this generation, and, and I'd say, easily well, what it is? Beanie Babies never had Freddy Krueger, but <laughs> um, they just weren't around long enough. They would have got. They've to kind it. of uh, they've kind of I think shot themselves in the ass. Funko? Because, yeah, I'm done now. Because they have so many of them? No. I, nothing then? nothing to do with how many. And up until recently, if you really wanted a character, you could get that character. But they have now partnered with so many retailers for yeah. exclusives. Oh, okay. That, uh, so, for instance, Forlom, Zuckus, the the tertiary bounty hunters. Well, for a Star Wars nerd like me, you want I want them. But I'm not going to go to New York Comic Con to get it. Yeah. Nor am uh, I going to pay the $50 for it afterwards. So exclusives are great, but don't make your exclusives at the expense of 
anybody's enjoyment of the of the line because I'm not. I'm sorry. I will not pay fifty See, bucks for a Funko. Pop. I've I've only jumped into Funko just with a few. I've got right. yeah, that's me. I've got Howard the Duck. I've got Rocket Raccoon. We've I'll, got a I'm bunch. Gonna buy Rick, I'm going to buy Rick and Morty. Yeah, when they come out. I've, uh, I, I should probably get those two. A guy gave me Cornelius from the original Planet of yeah. the Apes. I am actively seeking out right now the Space Ghost line because it's Space Ghost, and Zorak, and Moltar. And they're, and they're great. Or uh, Brack. I have no problem with that. But what happens when you start making exclusives that are yeah. exclusive to a retailer, yeah. then it becomes the beanie baby of that generation because you have people who are actively driving around. So, for instance, Walgreens has exclusive beanie, uh, beanie babies, uh, yeah, Funko Pops. Pops. That you can only find at Walgreens. So what does that mean? That means there are people who are driving all over the Wasatch Front, whatever the Wasatch Front is in your town. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're driving all over, hitting every single Walgreens, and then turning around and selling those figures in a markup. I'm sorry. That's not the free market. That's not fair. That's not uh, an incentive for me to stay into your into your collectibles. Yeah. If you want to have a collector's club and have your Jay Garrick Flash figure, I'm cool with that. I can subscribe to that, and the figure's actually a good deal. But making it so that I can't have a chance at that figure... I'm not that much of a completionist. I'm I I want my Star Wars guys and I want my Marvel guys and I want my DC guys. I don't care about your Game of Thrones figures. That's somebody else's thing. But don't make it uh, prohibitive for me to be able to continue mm-hmm. enjoying it. If I yeah. want all six of the bounty hunters from the Executor, then give me an opportunity to buy them. See, at least with this one, you have an an option to you have a chance to get it at uh, the the Hasbro uh, website. Sure, but sure. You but, know. Yeah, it's are it's, you are you listening, Funko Pop? Well, we're talking to you. They, well, they have been up until this point. Up until this point, Funko has actually been really collector friendly. Like they, they'll make an exclusive but now of a figure ca- that already exists. So they started milking that cash cow. Right. For instance, their their, With their smugglers exclusives. their smugglers bounty crate. They made an exclusive Boba Fett that's only available in that set. But there is a different Boba Fett. Yeah. So it's not like this is the only Boba Fett you can get is through the, yeah. Coll- the yeah. through the collector's club. So it's a variation. It's a variant. They and should make it a variant. Cool. Yeah. Always make it a variant. Don't yeah. make it impossible for me to get that character. Mm, so speaking of uh, I San Diego like Comic Con, I got uh, I got my badge. Yes. Yeah, they, they they've actually kind of uh, well, I almost say they're copying our Comic Con. I'll say it because we had what? those. What? They Where's had that soap. <laughs> <laughs> Wait those, a minute. We had those bands where you you clock in. Yeah. That's how San Diego is d- going to do it now. Oh, they should. And so, but theirs is more of like still like a, a badge lanyard kind of thing. And then you you tap it in or whatever. Make sure that shit's secure. But I had I have to give them love because it made me laugh my ass off. Uh, Hostel International mm-hmm. is still still partnering with us, and uh, he goes, uh, "So, would you guys need those two rooms again?" I go, um, "Well, I'll." I'll well, you know the th- names of them though. Well, hang on. Yeah. And I go, um, "I think I think it, it might just be me. I don't know if anybody else is going in this group." But uh, I was like, I, and I'm still debating if I'm going to go or not. And I was like, uh, yeah, I, we're just going to need one room for sure. And he goes, and he goes, so what do you want? Do you want Shady Acres or the Triple J Ranch? Uh, <laughs> he uh, said it. I go, the fact that you fucking remember the names <laughs> is hilarious. And he, he said he wanted to make those like like wooden plaques where people burn yeah. in oh, the wood. I, yeah. I would have lost my mind. <laughs> it, it may be there. It, 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 maybe he's holding a secret. But Shady Acres. It just smells like regret. And he goes, he goes, <laughs> oh, it doesn't. It felt like well rested. It did. People. We were well, well, well rested, gentlemen. Yeah. So he goes, well, he goes, if you only need one room, which one do you want? Do you want Shady Acres? Or do you want the Triple J Ranch? I go, well, if it's me, it's Triple J Ranch. Triple J. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he goes, all right. So when is San Diego this year? When is it? Like uh, July. Well, where are we now? Probably in a week or two. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, no it's, it's like going. July twenty. Our, our so. room was fantastic because we could smell, we could smell and hear adventure. Like all the time, yeah. our, our window was always open, and you could just smell and hear adventure. Well, you guys were even on like because you guys are on Market Street, yeah, yeah. And, and it was cool. Actually, a- ours is on Fifth Avenue, and the Fifth Avenue is the main strip of, yeah. of the car. That was almost too loud for my old ears. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, but Market Street, it just sounded like people having fun. Yeah, until four thirty in the morning. And yeah, it smelled insane. like people throwing up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the aftermath. I, I'm still I'm yeah. debating on so going. Hard. I, I think I'll probably go. I don't you know, know what? You know what? I, I do have a perspective of San Diego Comic Con. A lot of people don't have, and that I'm I'm not much of a sleeper. I don't sleep for more than a few hours at yeah. a time. So every day there, I woke up at like six and I yeah. go for a walk. You know what you see when you go for a walk around the San Diego Comic Con area? The restaurants loading up their alcohol. No, you see that. <laughs> you also see the sad dishwasher who gets there for the early shift, spraying puke down. Oh, <laughs> oh man! And man. I saw this not at one, not at two, but probably eleven different places <laughs> sure. where there's just the sad dude just standing there with the pressure washer. 
spraying down puke from all the people that threw up in front of their place Geek, the night those before. Those dumb assholes don't know how to rump spring at all. Yeah. Right. <laughs> a lot of geeks don't know how to hold their shit. Well, well speaking of which, get a shot. Hey, yeah, yeah, no, we, 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 we God, come, you we, know what? He makes the best fucking casserole I've ever he had. Does. Yeah, I know. We come, you know from a higher eleva- we come from a higher elevation, though, so for us going down there, it's just, you know. It's not a true yeah. thing. Does no. that? Oh, yeah. It, Remember, speaking of high elevation, uh, going back to our Denver friends, I remember we were sitting there and the, uh, we were sitting there drinking. They were just drinking beer like that, and I pour a shot of vodka and I go like this, like you do, because you're a professional. And I go, they're like, "How are you doing that?" Yeah, and I go, we were both doing that. "Yeah." They're like, "How are you doing that?" I go, "I I drink. I, <laughs> I'm a professional, but not beer." And they're like, and then apparently we got them so shit faced that one fell asleep in the bathroom. Who turned on the bathtub? And they're like, "I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna sober myself up," and just fell asleep next to the bathtub and just let it run for like four hours. Oh, oh man! Oh, oh so he is that le- Derek? So he lead up. It was, it was so AJ. He, he that lead AJ? up the place. AJ, you're better than that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing my best, coach. Those drink. guys drug me all over that town. I was out till three o'clock in the morning one night. Well, the best and I'm part. Like, I'm too old for this shit. One of the best had parts. A good time when Cat and I rolled in. Uh, they were like. So what do you guys want? You know what do you do? We're like, Wh- whatever. You, I mean, this is your city, man. Show us what you got. And he goes, Oh, Jimmy, we know where we want to take you. And I go, What? He goes, There's a karaoke bar. And I go, Oh yeah. And he goes, They do it every night. Oh, yeah, we and I go, oh. <laughs> And he goes, What night do you want to go? And I go, Well, Con, I know that it looks like Cat and I are sitting on our asses at a booth and working a booth. It's a lot of work. It's work. I mean, it's Lee, a lot of work. Lee knows yeah, it. Yeah, you know, and I'm sure you know it from I, yeah. remotes well, no, and whatnot. It's, it's if, if anybody's you're hustling. Ever, well, you're not just hustling. It's like okay, uh, when we get done with Comic Con. Yeah, I sleep for a day. Sure, and people are always like, "Why are you so always exhausted?" And it's like because we are on stage for three days, even if we're only doing three or four panels a day. Only yeah. three or four panels a day. You're still <laughs> on stage. You're still talking to people in between gigs when you are working a, a booth. booth. Yeah, at anything. I know this from from art shows, from uh, uh, the Saturday farmers market, whatever mm-hmm. else. You were on point because mm-hmm. your personality yeah. is going to sell your stuff just as much well, as your stuff yeah. is. Yeah, and if you know my wife and if you know me, like I mean, like it's not. I mean, I don't want to say it's like a script, but it's like you know, you're like, hey, how's it going? Like that, and right? Then, and like you know, it's you got to like, be on. You got to engage. You got tap dance, you yep. know, and like I the tiger. the dog of your brain. Yeah, and then uh, and you have to answer questions, like I said, like a thousand times. Like, is this where you take like old art and put on top of it? Yeah, it's yeah, exactly what it is. Yeah. I mean, like, look at the fucking art. Look it's exactly what it is, you know. So I mean, like, you have to be on point, and so like, yeah, and I go. Yeah, well, let's go tonight. Let's let's go tonight before this con starts. Because after that, I and and every night, every night after those cons, what do we do? We sat in his in his apartment and just we talked to like two in the morning. I like, went and hid in the suburbs. Oh yeah, that's right. Days. He disappeared for a little bit, but like like we sat in his apartment and we just fucking talked, you know, because you don't want to do anything. Well, it's I got, work. I would um, say like going though to a real city that's been allowed to grow up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. First of all, walk around smelling weed everywhere. Literally. Every, Is it really everywhere. that intense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. People that sit in their cars and also just it like, I, you know, <laughs> sure, I've smoked weed when I was in my teens. I'm not a weed guy. I just, I don't, I don't care. But, like, wow, it's but terrible. It's the devil's but weed. But the pungent, like, like <laughs> everywhere, like, at least, every, no. I'd say at least every two minutes, I go, uh, so, oh, there's some. I get excited oh, when some. I smell weed. Yeah. Yeah. Those are, but that just reminds is, me of when I was a kid and yeah. my mom, you know. It's so funny. <laughs> like, th- it's a city, it's allowed to have happy hours, Carrie. I know. Yeah. Crazy idea. It's got right? happy hours. Uh, and they they can run. Spe- it's another thing you can't do in Utah is you can't run any kind of drink special. Yeah, they Remember took the, me. The waitress they the took me to this shitty, <laughs> the shitty dive bar. Actually, it was awesome. I loved it. it Remind me of Burt's. It's called the Something Garage, and their signature like special was, I think it was I believe it was four dollars. <laughs> you got a can of Paps, a shot of uh, a shot of so, rot gut whiskey. So a tumbler Whoa. whiskey uh, and one cigarette. <laughs> and I'm just like this. It is came with a cigarette. Yeah, and it was it was called the Billy Jack. <laughs> the Billy Jack. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wonderful. And so I just kept giving my cigarettes to people. I'm like, this is great. When we were at the pub quiz, the waitress came up and she's like, uh, she's like, what would you like? And I was like, ah, I just want a shot of vodka. And she's like, do you want to make it a double? And I was like, ah. And she's like, it's the same price. It's happy hour right now. And I go. <laughs> Well, hell, well, well, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not stupid. <laughs> so see, that, she that, brings up this tumbler glass. And see, that's the thing is that I've been programmed because I drink here. Yeah. When I go to grown up cities, I keep forgetting to say make it a double. Oh, whenever yeah. they ask me, you want to make it a double? Yeah. Oh, anytime I go to LA on a junket, they're yeah. like, you want to make it a double? I'm like, yeah. I think but my the other thing is, is, I will say, uh, this is what I noticed, but I was afraid when I got Were there. you petrified? Well, I mean, Wait just. Wait for the shooter drop? What were you afraid of? Well, what? I mean, the children can. You Not only can you bring your children into the bar, they might see the booze. Like a great bar, like, oh. like One Up, <laughs> uh, right? That's all like old. Uh, Old video games and pinball machines. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tons Ooh. of kids there while their parents were drinking. What? And they could see the booze. 
They could see the booze being prepared. Oh, no. And this isn't a Mad Max hellscape? No. no. Uh, I was so afraid that when <laughs> I got to Denver, there were just going to be drunken babies and fucking <laughs> and uh, stoned, stoned, stoned marauders I hear that everywhere. I hear that their education system is flush with cash right now. That's weird, right? Yeah. My, it's like the, every two blocks, there's a... Di- every one block, there's a dispenser. A dispenser. I'll never forget, we were, we were playing Junkin Pub Quiz, and I was, I was like, is that a skee-ball machine? Well, I'm going to go over there. And so, <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know, sauntered over there, and also there's like this little like, four-year-old just like playing skee-ball. Like, this is, this is hey, awesome. Hey, you know? well, my, my, my you parents, got a hundred. Way to go. My parents, <laughs> my parents live in central Oregon, and my mom says they have a lot more spending money now because um, one of the things that's legal in Oregon now that mm-hmm. is legal is barter. You can't sell what you grow, but you can barter what you grow. Oh. Really? So the health food store down the street is on a strictly barter basis with my parents. What, they, they trade like with chickens and stuff? Or like no, they trade their weed for food. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed three mature plants per adult in the house. <laughs> That's and you, awesome. And you can have up to an ounce in your home at any time. And and I, just, I just went I, to Portland. I sit there That's and I, cool think about, I think about the most I ever bought in my entire life was an eighth of an ounce of weed, right? And that would last me three or four days of heavy smoking. <laughs> I think about an ounce. I'm like... What kind I could leave how much it? is an ounce? Like it's like half a glad well, it's bag. A, it's about an oh, ounce. Oh, half a glad bag. <laughs> half okay. a glad it's about bag. an ounce. Uh, how much is an ounce? About a half. A, about a half. You know, you take a, a gallon glad bag. Oh, the gallon bags? Yeah, I thought it was a sandwich maybe, bag. Yeah, no, it's it's a lot of pot. <laughs> so it's, is weight? Is it an ounce yeah, of weight? Yeah. Oh, so oh, how, okay. how many how many chickens for that? How many uh, chickens you get for yeah. an ounce of pot? Well, they're not bartering for chickens. They're vegans. Oh, they're vegans. That's right. Yeah, they're going bartering for eggs. They're like, oh, I'll give you that for kale. I'll give you a joint for three. Bottles of vegan A's. How many? <laughs> <laughs> How many yams can I get for that? Hey, can I get two? Hey, yam- what's it going right for yam around here? Can I get a? Can I get two yams, a, a pound of tofurkey, and a gallon of vegan A's? And I'll, I'll give you a, give you two joints. Hey, do you know a good <laughs> vegan pepperoni? Because I can't. Find uh, one. No, there's no such thing. Okay, but mm-hmm. I, my my scientists in Scotland are working on it. Good. <laughs> no, all the all the meat alternatives ah. that are worth a shit are coming out of Scotland. I don't know why. That's weird because they're a very meat based people, aren't they? Yes, but so so are the Czechs, right? Yeah. We're not and doing Prague, it. And Prague has more vegan restaurants per capita than any other European city. Mm. So maybe the Scottish are lying and everything. It's very actually progressive. Has, no, the Scottish, the they're Scottish very progressive. Has meat in it. The Scottish figured out uh, the best vegan cheese in the world uh-uh. is from Scotland, and it's made from oatmeal. It's made from cheese. Oatmeal? No, it's made from oatmeal. Huh. We're lying to them. With cheese. Uh, <laughs> that's no. what I was thinking. Trust me, it's fucking oatmeal. <laughs> this isn't cheese, it's oatmeal. I mean cheese. <laughs> cheese meal. It's cheese meal. Cheese meal? It's cheese meal. Eat it, you pussy. Get some of that in your belly. <laughs> well, I'd like to talk about the flash, but we gotta go. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we should talk Can we about save it? Oh, we, we'll, we can't? We'll talk about it next day. Okay, but we'll be so. too drunk. Yeah. No, we'll, be, we'll be fine. Fourth row. Save it for the fourth show. Too busy talking about about cheese oatmeal. (laughs) Uh, I didn't think we were, but... What do you think, bag of beans? What? (laughs) (laughs) I think you're right, Shannon. I like birds. (laughs) Oh, thanks. Thanks. I like birds. (laughs) <laughs> what do you think, my friend, Frijoles Negros? I hope Jay's laughing in his, in his cell. My favorite bird <laughs> yes. is a peregrine falcon. <laughs> if they let him... That doesn't sound anything like Jay, by the way. Oh, it's the beans talking, <laughs> not oh, okay. Jay. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, my God, we're so stupid. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> There's the Jay. It's a bag of beans here. <laughs> All right. Uh, games. Vi- uh, who wants to go first? I got it. Videos. Mine's pretty quick. All right. Uh, I, I haven't seen this movie, and I was actually wanted to, and I didn't even realize it came out in the theaters. But um, uh, Tom Hiddleston played Henry Williams, and Hank, I saw Hank, the light. Hank Williams. Hank, oh, Hank Williams. Sorry, Hank, yeah. Well, Henry was his formal name. <laughs> <laughs> we were buddies. But, and yeah, but, my name's uh, Henry Williams. Yes, but if you if you if you call a honky tonk station and ask for some Henry Williams, they'll most likely <laughs> yeah. laugh. Wait, who played him? <laughs> Tom Hiddleston. Loki. Loki. Played young played young oh. Hank Williams, yeah. I saw it. Well, tri- I say young because he died very young. He did a good job. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. Uh, when did it come out? It it's, went to art houses. It was art house movies. I yeah. Didn't like Why didn't I, you I, go to the center theater with fat fucking Janet Reno and watch it? Because <laughs> <laughs> my 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 sweater vest was dirty and my bitch tits weren't grown. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as a practitioner of the bitch tit arts, I resent that comment. Here's the thing. <laughs> he sang. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, did he, he didn't lip sync. Yeah. He sang Hank Williams' yeah. and he played songs. And he I thought played, you were talking about sweater vest for a minute. And he played his own git fiddle. <laughs> I was like, he sings? And no, he, he played, just has hookers. He played his own git fiddle. 
he learned to yodel. Yeah, for this part. That's awesome. And I, he looks like Hank Williams. Because that's one thing it? Henry Williams could do is yodel. <laughs> <laughs> you might know this one because the website I find these titles from usually does it by popularity. Yes. Uh, do you know anything about Only Yesterday? No. Okay, well, it's, never mind. Move on. It was a Japanese animation, it looks like. I, I've uh, I've fallen out of my anime because my, my true love of tabletop gaming has re-exerted its dominance. All See, right. that's how I feel about comic books, but video games. I can't stop playing video games, so I don't read any comic books lately. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've got some... some uh, not anime, but something that you would be interested in. Hang on. Oh, uh, I'm excited. We've also got a House of Cards season four. House of Cards is so fucked up. I, I just want to tell Frank <laughs> to stop killing people. Is he killing Spoiler people? Spoiler alert. Frank Frank is a fucker. Frank is Underwood. Frank, uh, Kevin Spacey? Yeah. Okay. Frank Frank is, well, for one. The, I've our, only watched the pilot. Our House of Cards is based off of a British show, which I think might be based off of an American book, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not completely sure. That's complicated. But, but, back and forth. but the British House of Cards was in the 90s or the 80s. But regardless, Kevin Spacey, he has a line in the pilot where after his wife walks by, you know, Princess Buttercup walks by, he turns at the camera because he breaks the fourth wall constantly. And he says, as you wish. No, he turns oh. and he looks at the camera and he says, I love that woman like a shark loves blood. And it is the wow. most chilling wow. line ever. Wow. Oh, and he does this. He's so good. There's, shit, there's one episode uh, where he, he kills a prominent character, like pushes this character in front of a subway train. And you realize why you're uneasy through the entire episode until he kills this person. And at this point, he's vice president of the United States. <laughs> you realize why you're so completely unnerved the whole thing, because he hasn't broken the fourth wall the oh. entire time. And then he kills this person, and he looks at the camera and says, oh, you thought I was just going to let this go? <laughs> and walks off. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so okay. it, it, is, it is political intrigue. How often does he break the fourth wall? Every episode, three oh, or four times. Okay. Well, does, yeah, I remember the pilot. All right, all right. Do you have Amazon? Yes, Okay, this is good for you then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Amazon Japan what? is announcing 12 new original series, oh. including Magi, which okay, is a time, great. time traveling drama, several manga adaptations, you've seen it, yeah. and spin offs of Ultraman and Kamen Rider. Ultraman's goofy ass shit. Here's the thing though <laughs> <laughs> Ultraman is goofy, but Kamen Rider is actually apparently pretty violent. Kamen Rider this, was this new one. What, did they turn that into a. Shitty American version? No, they they tried. The mm -hmm. the people that did Power Rangers tried, yeah. but it yeah. was just too yeah. weird for them. Yeah. But, oh, that's exciting. It was a, the guy that looked like a bug on a motorcycle. Yeah, that was uh, Mighty Morphin Manta Mangers. But, Manta uh, Mangers? <laughs> that was but, my not favorite. Not the truth, Lee. <laughs> but some, some people have seen the, the Cayman Rider show, and apparently it's it's pretty violent and bloody. I think you're thinking of Big Bad Beetleborgs. I think I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was there you was are. bug things and motorcycles in that. I That's remember. them. All right, yeah. movies. Sorry. Uh, another one coming out. Oh, it's funny. I, I was as I was looking down the list. Code of Honor with Steven Seagal. Now, the only reason I bring this up is because uh, I don't know. Seven or eight months ago, Steven Seagal was filming a movie in Salt Lake City. That's right. It was called Code of Honor. Oh. And, and if you actually watch the trailer, <laughs> it's all over downtown. Uh, if you live in Salt Lake, uh, and they filmed a lot at Fear Factory, who are good friends of ours, uh, and like, like, because they filmed next to this giant tower, and it's like six, six, six down. I was like, oh, you guys didn't even tried to, uh, yeah. to yeah. hide that you're like filming <laughs> at a fucking haunted house. This is where the juggalos I'm going to kill live. So <laughs> if you want to see, uh, as as our good friend Counts calls them, uh, a burnt bratwurst uh, of Steven Seagal, <laughs> uh, watch Code of Honor. Way to ruin bratwurst for me, Counts. <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> Good job, counts. <laughs> uh, and then uh, that might be it. Search parties coming out. That's kind of it. Is that good? Yeah. Right. That's it. Games? Games. Uh, Carmageddon Max Damage comes out. Uh, you, my most regretted <laughs> Kickstarter of all time. Which one? And I Kickstarted the Robotech RPG Tactics game. And this was worse? <laughs> yeah, because, okay, this game, the Kickstarter in that, uh -huh. 2012. Whoa. Look at the release date, Tony. July 5th. 2016. Yeah, Woo! that's like four years. That yeah. is. Yeah, that actually is four years. The game. The game was supposed I to knew, come out like a year later. I knew my math was. And they'll send strong. out things going. Oh, we got it. So you can smash up other cars with your blade. I'm like, I just want to play the fucking game. I'm curious. Uh, I know it's not great for audio, but who here has ever donated to a Kickstarter? Raise your hand. I have. There are just five, is. four of us oh, raising I do, our I hands. Do I've only okay. donated I've, to. I donate please. to. Uh, I don't. I do. Could you talk about it a lot? I do a lot of Kickstarters. Yeah. I do probably 15, 16 a year. 
Wow. Okay. Uh, mostly because uh, companies that do tabletop war games mm. use Kickstarter to get their games funded. Yeah. To, oh, to okay. actually See, get them started. There's certain uh, genres on Kickstarter that you can donate it's, to, and you you're pretty much guaranteed that something's going to happen. Not only that's you good. guaranteed like tabletop stuff. Or not only you guaranteed something's going to happen, you end up coming out on top of where yeah. you would have been if you just bought the exactly. game. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I also uh, kickstart documentaries. So yeah. the 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 book uh, the movie about Carol Spinney, the guy that does Big Bird. Um, Great oh, documentary. Yeah. I'm one of the producers on it. The, I look put at money you. In it. The, uh, Thank you for that one. I hope they have a real life Mr. Meeseeks come up on Mr. Meeseeks. There's, uh, <laughs> there's <laughs> the, <laughs> the goon the goon movie. They they've been trying to do a goon movie for years. <laughs> oh, yeah. but Hollywood won't fund this, it. It's Deadpool Jerry. guy, right? Uh, yeah, he's going to direct it. Yeah. but it's both. they they did a Kickstarter for that, and I'm I put a couple hundred bucks into that yeah. back when I was you know in the bank industry, mm-hmm. and that was one of those things that allowed them to get it, the animatics done. And that's all they were doing. They're like, please let us let's kickstart well, the that's, animatics. That's getting so, closer now, actually, yeah. because Deadpool. So where Kickstarter always fails, in my opinion, from from what I've seen, is if you're trying to back a technology, yeah, like a hardware, a piece of hardware, or a uh, video game, sometimes fail too, because sometimes. both of those include long development processes or manufacturing. Well, and people mm. get really pissy if they don't get instant gratification. Exactly. So the, the Pathfinder uh, MMORPG, which I kickstarted three years ago, still not out. But that game, you realize the development hell that they're in, and you go, right. okay, cool, let's give them millions of dollars. You know what else fails in Kickstarters is uh, Star Trek fan films. Anyway, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. Uh, let's see. Also this week we got Romance of the Three Kingdoms 8. This will be their eighth romance. And uh, they should have stopped at three. They should have stopped at one. Had one good romance. Yeah. There's a bunch of uh, uh, Amiibos coming out this week if you like Splatoon. For on the Nintendo Wii, Splatoon Amiibos. People seem to like that yeah. one. Yeah. A Splatoon? Splatoon. Oh. Splatoon. Splatoon is... Spit into or it. Splatoon. Yeah, Splatoon. What? Is, what is that? Splatoon. It's, it's a fun game. Yeah, it's a third person. <laughs> I, it's hear, like a, I hear splat and I'm kind of out. It's, it's like a competitive shooter, except instead of guns, it's paint guns. It's paint. You're you upset. Oh, paint. see, I was thinking it would be something completely Is different. it white paint? <laughs> white paint? <laughs> You're thinking oh, of that no. Splatman movie we had to watch. Splatman. What yeah. had? Well, we volunteered to watch. Yeah. A couple times. That's it. Is that it? That's all. Okay. Well, uh, I think I think James has uh, food for us. What so day does this come out? Uh, this is the fourth. That's not food. That's July vodka. <laughs> that's <laughs> it's, so, uh, it's potatoes. So, food of the so, gods. So this broken news is going to be the one uh, earlier where we're like, uh, goddamn slip and slide party. I am so excited for that. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I might the, be in the woods. The Viking the Viking boat is is appearing at your house. The what? The Viking boat is appearing at your house. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm saying the Viking contingency, the embassy from Norway ah, is arriving. Okay. <laughs> so, Ooh, can right. I be a part of that? Yes, you can. Yes. Uh, Mr. B, if you would, please. So uh, I'll eat more ham, but um, it must be like thin, <laughs> thinly sliced. Not too salty? No, but just thin because I, like honey, honey baked spiral ham, too heavy. Too yeah, heavy to get yeah, yeah. But it's to sweet. the mouth. But like a sandwich slice, I'll eat more ham. I, I like it when the ham's boiled because it just chews easier. Yeah. 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 You guys are pussies. <laughs> Get off the meat show. Get out of here, Get Mr. Out. Goat Get Puncher. We don't need your, we don't need your bullshit. You go back to Norway. <laughs>